Did he quit the show? There he is. We visit you guys. We have Tony nominees, Tony winners, and a lot of people in this audience tonight. We are so honored to be with you. You've won two Tonys. I know. You have six Tony nominations. I do. And you did Sweetie Top with Lauren. Yeah, that was a big one. That was, that was. So, Michael, why don't you tell us while we wait for... What's wrong with me? Yes, why don't you tell us about your Tony experience? Well... Winning a Tony nomination, your first Tony nomination. The first Tony nomination was for Tommy. Yeah. Uh, and I lost, which, uh... Who did you lose to? Um, I lost to Anthony Cavill. Oh, because it's my book. Yeah. Right. Um, but that was actually a great way to start, because then, you know, you kind of get that humiliation out of the way, and, and sort of realize that life goes on, and I still got to go back and do Tommy the next day, so <laughs> that was a pretty good prize. Tommy in time. Yeah, exactly. Time. Yeah, exactly. Love it. Um, yeah. Do you have a favorite Tony memory? And you won, like, you won for Assassins and Fun Home. That's two incredible shows. My average actually isn't that great. Like two out of six nominations is kind of, you know. Like if I was in, if I was playing for the Yankees, I might be like. Yeah, you might be yeah. Um, so yeah, what's a fun story? Um, <laughs> That's a fun story. Uh, well, the, when I won the first time for, um, for uh, Assassins, um, Felicia Rashad and Sean Combs were the presenters that night. Um, Sean uh, struggled with my name. Uh, I wasn't entirely certain that he had called my name. <laughs> I just sort of waited for a minute. And then I got up and everything's just like, you know, crazy and swimming and, and, uh, and I just started laughing because I thought it was so crazy that like Mrs. Cosby and Puff Daddy were on stage giving me this award, which seemed to make no sense whatsoever. And so I said something in the speech about, you know, I can't believe that I'm here, you know, getting this award from, from Puff and, and, you know, then finished the rest of the speech and came off stage with him and his bodyguards all swarmed around us as we walked into the wing and I thought, oh my god, I have offended Sean Combs, who really was, you know, his Sean Combs now, by calling him Puff on stage. Well, he's gone through a, a whole litany of different names. Well, I know. In from fairness, PJ, yes. I mean, I had a lot to choose from. Yeah, you did. But, uh, but anyone's guess. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, and I said, hey, Matt, I'm so sorry. I know, you know, I know that you're going by Sean now because you're doing this, you know, uh, to go or no, um, uh, Raising the Sun on Broadway. And, uh, Raising the Sun. Raising the Sun. You get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I said, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't offend you. And he said, no, oh, man, it's I. <laughs> I thought, you know, very good impression. That was a very good impression. Very good. Very good. Very good. That, that was almost as uh, amusing to me as the fact that I uh, could not for the life of me in the middle of my thank you speech the second time come up with Robbie Fairchild's name. Oh no! I, I, I said like Robbie and like I knew him and that, that he was wonderful and I instead just said Robbie F F F Fitzgerald. No, not Fitzgerald. And I have lived with that shame and apologized to him a million times. But his uh, his sister Megan, who's a dancer with City Ballet, thought it was hilarious. And yeah. The sisters love when their brothers get embarrassed. Is there anything with this being the, the year that Sondheim has passed? Is there any Sondheim memory? Because you've done a few. Is there any Sondheim memory that you could share with us as we still wait for the feed to appear? <laughs> yeah, you should just like share your screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it on your. Just watch it on your cell phone. That's what it is. That's but no, I would love to know a song time. Did he ever tell you anything um, that was? Well, the, I think the highest praise he ever gave me was when uh, after I had done um, Passion the first time, and he came up to all of us. It was with Rebecca Luker and, uh, and GQ, and he came up and gave us all a big hug, and he turned to me and he said, "You know, I just can't believe you're not Jewish." 
which I thought was about the highest praise I could have. Very, very high praise. Okay, what's well, I'll be the last thing we'll ask you. Questions? Any other questions from the audience? No. But, uh, did anything ever go wrong during the Tonys for you? During the Tonys, I mean, aside from like not being able to call my friend by his name, I don't think there was anything uh, that went spectacularly wrong for me. I do remember watching um, Sidney Lucas getting ready to go up on stage when we did the rehearsal in the afternoon. She was so nervous, poor thing, because she was going to stand alone on the stage. Bringing keys, right? She's bringing keys, and all she had was me, like reading the newspaper in the background. So I was no help. Um, but she was so nervous before we did the whole rehearsal thing. She seemed to be like keeping it all together, and then she walked off stage and immediately threw up in the trash can with her wings. Because the poor thing was so terrified. But Fun fact: she vomited. Like, I'm sure she's delighted that I'm telling you all now. It's okay, no one's filming this. We can't even watch it. <laughs> just kidding. I'm sure we will. What's happening? Well, he's on stage. Can I just get a time check? It's 8.15. No, I see the time right there. Is there anyone that can tell us what's going on? Jesse Tyler Ferguson won. Cerberus to a very long eight minute medley from Tommy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>